Hey guys, welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today, the 4-4 four four North Dakota State Bison travel to take on the 2-6 McNeese State Cowboys. This is a Big 12 matchup, and I got McNeese actually winning this one. North Dakota State, they've struggled a lot this season, and Christian Daniels, senior red, uh, right end for the Cowboys, he is an absolute monster. He leads the nation in sacks. Blake Bennett, not a great season so far for the quarterback, but he does have a high overall. So he might do some damage here today against the Bison defense. And the Cowboys don't really have a lot of depth. They're not too terrible. But they have six losses on the year. Only one conference victory. They lost their first game to Iowa, which is not even in this dynasty. They won against Illinois State. Lost to Army. South Dakota State beat them up. They lost to Chattanooga by three. Samuelson State beat them. And here we are today. North Dakota State is third in the Big 12 North currently behind Furman and South Dakota State. McNeese State is down in dead last in that division. But I do have the Cowboys winning this one. They're at home. This should be a fun game. Uh, a lot of exciting plays for the Cowboys offense perhaps. Well, let's see what the guys think about it. I'll see you guys down on the field here in a moment. Hi everybody, this is Brad Nestler. With me as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. And we've got more rain in the forecast for today's game between the Bison and the McNeese State Cowboys. This appears to be a heck of a late season matchup. They're playing today in hopes of impressing the pollsters and the bowl reps. And here come the Cowboys. The Bison are very confident coming into this one. They are definitely the favorites in my book, Kirk. The away team needs to look no further than their quarterback to figure out what holds this team together. His ability to read the defense and take what they give him is the reason they'll win this football game. He's a smart young man. I picked my winner this morning. Here we go. I really believe that these guys are going to do it. <laughs> All right, you heard it from Lee Corso himself. We'll see how that pick pans out. In the meantime, let's go down to the coin toss. So I'm the only one that picked against the Bison today. Let's see how Kevin Jasper Jr. performs. And he's already off to a good start here as he connects with Manning up to the 47-yard line. Kelvin with over 1,500 passing yards on the season. Slings another one, this time to Ryan Erwandowski. That is his 16th catch on the year. He's up over 450 yards receiving. Here's Token Anacoke, left side, first down, run. Nice carry for the big halfback. Third and 15, though. Not a situation the Bison want to be in. Calvin going to take off down the sideline. He's got the first down. A great run by the quarterback as he closes in on 500 rushing yards for the year. He's going to sling it here to the end zone. That's a touchdown pass for him. That's his 13th touchdown toss this season. So the Bison off to a hot start on offense. We don't see that very often this season. And they desperately needed it today. 7-0, McNeese State, they go three and out, so we're going to see the Bison again, but the Hogan Anico fumbles the football, and it's recovered by the Cowboys. So they're going to start off their second drive in great field position. This is a must-win game for the Bison. They have a tough matchup in Week 12 as they will be traveling to take on the South Dakota State Jackrabbits. And here's a sack for Austin Bracey coming right off the blitz. It's actually his second sack on the season. This pass is almost picked off by Bracey as well. That would have been his fourth pick of the year. Cowboys on for the field goal. The kick is up and good. So they close the gap a little bit. It's 7-3. The Bison back on offense. Cameron May explodes to the left side. Up to the 46-yard line. Taken down by the face mask. And that's a 15-yard penalty. That'll give them the ball at the 39-yard line. First and 10. Play action. Jasper, right side, connects with Erwandowski again. The brother of Reinhardt Erwandowski, who plays for the Jackrabbits. It'll be fun to see them play each other next week. Manico picks up a first down. Another third and long here. Third and 11. And that pass goes nowhere. So the Bison will have to go for it here on fourth and 11. And down the field. And it's picked off by Kelly at the five-yard line. Just a desperation heave for Calvin Jasper Jr. And he throws his 10th interception of the year. Play action, Bennett is sacked in the end zone by Dio Langston, but they're not gonna call it a safety. He was clearly in the end zone, and it looked like the ball was too, but they're gonna get another shot here from the one yard line. Demps, the fullback, gets the carry up the middle. He might take this all the way. You've got to be kidding me. 
D.L. Langston giving chase at the 30, the 20, all the way inside the 10, down at the five yard line. So a would-be safety ends up costing them a 94 yard run by the fullback, right up the center of that defense. Third and goal from the one. The Cowboys give it off to Cobbs, breaks the tackle, and he's in for the score. So the Cowboys are gonna take the lead, 10 to seven, after a ridiculous run by the fullback. If you wanna play for the Bison, stay tuned in the off season. We'll be having some recruits join them. They definitely need help in the front seven. Well, actually the defensive line and the back end of the defense as well. We've got a couple decent linebackers. Here's to Oka Nanako breaking tackles up to the 36 yard line. First down, Bison. Second and 10. Calvin rolling out left side. Throws it late and he connects to Moore again. All the way up to the 12 yard line. First down, Bison. And Calvin gonna take off up the middle. Breaks a tackle and he gets about eight yards on the play. Fourth and inches, they're gonna go for it, and Cameron May is gonna punch it in for the score. That's his seventh touchdown run on the season. He now has 500 rushing yards for the year as well, so a big season for the fullback. And a very important stat, zero fumbles as well. Cobbs right up the gut for the Cowboys. First down, 112 yards up the middle for this offense and none anywhere else. Jones with a nice catch, super speed. Can't bring him down, he's still going. Oliver Vincent tracks him down at the 12-yard line. And Oliver Vincent, the hero of the FCS North Tournament, is injured on the play. Hopefully he'll be all right and come back. Third down and five. Bennett, pressured, he is sacked by the defensive and fourth and 11 upcoming. Cowboys gonna have to send on the field goal unit after another nice stop for the Bison defense. That was actually Zeke Marunde on the sack. His third on the year. Cowboys kick is up and that is good. He probably could have made that from 50. The fans are ecstatic right now. And that guy was having none of it. 30 seconds left here in the first half. Calvin Jasper Jr. rolling out far left side. Takes off, he's got the first down and more. Push out of bounds at the 35 yard line. 25 seconds, play action. And that was Daniels chasing him down, but he connects with Max Hawthorne instead at the 44-yard line. First down pickup. That is Hawthorne's 20th catch on the year. Calvin Jasper Jr. does get sacked this time, though, at the 40-yard line. First sack of the game for Rodgers. That'll bring up a second and 26. Taking a deep shot. Max Hawthorne is there. Double coverage picked off by O'Connor inside the 20-yard line. And that is going to do it for the first half here in Louisiana. Bison on top, 14-13. They have controlled the clock so far, over eight minutes of time of possession, but three turnovers today has kept it a close game here for the Cowboys as Cobb breaks a tackle and gets dropped for a loss anyway by Austin Bracey. That's his fourth tackle today. He's got 52 on the season. Bennett going to throw it. All day to throw it. Throws way right side. A nice completion out to Jones at midfield. Stayed patient in the pocket. Found an open man. Second and ten. They're going to hand it off to Kavka, and he's going to put it on the ground. Zeke Marunde recovers it. That's his first fumble recovery of his career, and Zeke Marunde is going to have his first career touchdown on a scoop and score. Six points for the Bison. Huge play. Zeke Marunde, he doesn't seem like he's made a huge impact this season. Not a lot of highlight plays, but that will definitely be added to the highlight reel. And it gives his team an eight-point lead here in the third quarter over the McNeese State Cowboys. Cowboys back on offense. They're going to go play action. Wide open downfield is Jones. Nice completion out to the 38-yard line. He's got 77 yards today on three catches. Cobbs, carry, right side, breaks free, and Cobbs is loose into the end zone for the touchdown. And they're going to have to go for two points here to try to tie it up after that 27-yard scamper by the halfback. Two-point conversion attempt. Bennett, play action. He's sacked. They are not going to get it. And a nice tackle by the right end. So the Bison remain in the lead, 21-19. And they go play action. He is sacked. And that is the big man, Daniels. He is up for the Buck Buchanan Award. He'll probably win it. He leads the nation in sacks. He's an absolute monster. This pass is almost picked off. And the Cowboys get the ball right back. Bennett 
Going to throw it. Left side wide open is Hester. Zoomer speed with a nice ankle tackle at the marker. And they gave him the first down. Now third and seven from the 33-yard line. Toss play to Cobbs. Right side cuts it back. Taken down a yard short of the first down. That run gets him over 600 yards for the year. But another nice stop for the Bison defense. That's been missing for the past couple losses. Tolkien Anacok breaks loose to the outside. Past the 30. Past the 40. Out of bounds at the 44-yard line. He has over 500 rushing yards on the season now. Calvin Jasper Jr. option. Right side. Pitches out. Zoomer Speed's got it. And he's got the speed. He's got the edge. And he's got the touchdown for North Dakota State. Finally making a big impact. That run gets him over 300 yards. That's his fifth touchdown run on the season. He's also been a beast on special teams on the returns. But the Bison, they've been trying to get him incorporated into this offense a little bit more. And they now just took a nine-point lead. Nice deflection, but it's caught anyway by Wilson up to the 49-yard line of North Dakota State. But we put Zoomer Speed into some formation subs, trying to get him some plays where he can make a huge impact. Here's Austin Bracey recovering a fumble. That's his first fumble recovery of his young career. My goodness. Zoomer Speed, toss play, right side, and there's nobody there in the secondary. Zoomer Speed is gone. His second touchdown run of the game. And they have both been for 50-plus yards. He's an electric player, trying to get him the ball some more, and so far in the third quarter, it has worked out quite nicely. If you are in the Discord channel, Zoomer Speed is in there. Give him a shout-out after this game for how well he's performed in this quarter. That pass is almost caught for a score. He would have been gone if he kept his hands on it. The Bison are going get to get the ball back again. First and 10. They're up 16. Now Zoomer Speed gets it on a counter. Nice block by Ryan Erwandowski. He blocks another one. And Zoomer Speed is going to be off to the races again for his third touchdown run of the second half. 62-yard touchdown run. Three carries, three touchdowns, 150 plus yards. And great blocking downfield by the wide receiver, Ryan Irwindowski, springing his guy loose for the score. My goodness. Mad respect for Zoomer Speed. 42 19 is the score. Now the Bison looking like they're going to run away with this one, but there's a nice completion out to Hester as the Cowboys are not giving up. Third down, toss play to Cobbs. He's got blockers but they don't block. He's taken down at the 45 yard line. Fourth down and two. Looks like the Bison are gonna get the ball right back. Fourth and two, they're actually gonna go for it. They're losing big, might as well. And they connect with Vickers for the first down. And you can hear a pin drop in this stadium after this explosion with Zoomer Speed. Here's Vickers again though, up to the 30 yard line. Nice completion yet again. Second down and 10, Bennett. Going to throw it. He's sacked again. This defense is actually getting some pressure on the quarterback, which is a very nice sight. Bennett going to throw again. Left side almost picked off by Austin Bracey off the deflection. And the fans are not happy. They're starting to leave the stadium. Bison are back on offense. Cameron May getting a carry out of the halfback position. Breaks a tackle and picks up the first down. 504 rushing yards this season. Here's Nanakoke breaking loose outside to the right. Breaking tackles, nice stiff arm up to the 34-yard line. Ground game has been working today. And you see Furman has lost, so that's big for the Bison. Zoomer Speed, another carry, and he's got the first down and more. Man, this guy is electric. 348 yards on the ground today for the Bison. Second down and seven. Calvin Jasper Jr. takes it in on the option down to the one-yard line. He's got 58 yards today. That definitely puts him over 500 rushing yards for the year. Zuber Speed, five carries, 195 yards, three touchdowns, beast. Cameron May is going to punch it in for another touchdown here today. That is his eighth on the season. And the Bison are going to walk out of here with a 30-point victory over the McNeese State Cowboys, 49-19. There is one more play here. Bennett is picked off by Lowry, the number three cornerback on the depth chart. And head coach Slovakia Griffith pumped up. He knows that this is a huge win. Bison still trying to get a bowl eligibility late in the season. 
But that's it, guys. 49-19 is the final. The defense stepped it up today for the Bison. They've been struggling lately. And the offense, which has been the biggest question mark all season for the Bison, they really stepped it up as well. Over 350 rushing yards as a team. 362 yards on the ground. Kevin Jasper Jr., 6 of 15, 99 yards, one touchdown. Sacked twice today. Three turnovers. They were all in the first half. So the second half was clean for the Bison. That was a big difference. And they put up 35 points thanks to an explosive second half for the number two halfback on the roster, Zoomer Speed. He's just so electric, so shifty. And of course, he's got that speed. But big win for the Bison. Jasper Jr., not a really great day, but he has 13 touchdowns, 11 picks on the year now. Super speed, monster numbers. He has seven touchdown runs on the year. Cameron May now has eight. Who is he is in the lead? One behind him is Zoomer Speed. Receptions today. Irwindowski had two. Hawthorne had one. So Irwindowski now with 17 catches on the year. Three touchdowns. Harladay allows a sack today. That's the eighth sack he's allowed all season. My goodness. And Harlow allows his sixth sack. Not the best offensive lineman as far as our subscribers go. But once they get it, get it going in the ground game, you can see what happens. Like today, over 350 rushing yards. So if they can get in the zone early on in games, their team's going to have a lot of success, and they need that. They live and die by the run game. One interception today, Isaiah Lowry, the third string corner. Four deflections for Toke and Nanakoke, who's out there playing some linebackers. Zoomer Speed plays some cornerback as well. Marunde, first career touchdown, 56 yard fumble return. And that really sparked that defense. Oliver Vincent, good news. He was only out for that game. We'll see him back next week against the South Dakota State Jackrabbits. Speed, Marunde, Lowry, players of the game for the Bison. Cobbs, Kelly, Roberson, players of the game for the Cowboys. Our next game, like I've been saying, the Bison will be traveling to South Dakota State. Another Big 12 matchup. Subscriber versus subscriber. That's a huge game. And our next game, which will be out tomorrow, Cal Poly hosts the Sacramento State Hornets. I'll see you guys at 6 Eastern Standard Time. Take it easy, guys.